The game is divided into rounds called days in the game. Each day consists of sunrise, noon, evening and sunset. Players carry out their actions simultaneously in each phase of the day. At sunset, players roll to move. They roll their three dice and check how many equal they have on their dice. So, let's see here. We have no equals, but say that the wizard rolls two ones and one three. She can then move at most two steps on the board. And the others move as many steps as they like, decided by their dice. At noon, players draw adventure cards representing the regions they are in and resolve them. If players share the same space, they draw a shared adventure card, which is resolved uh, by rolling die or reading or whatever it says on the card. In the evening, uh, any players at special locations may do actions uh, described at each, look, at each location, such as training skills. Whenever an adventurer uses a skill and rolls a triplet, three equals, they have a chance of leveling up that skill. That happens if the uh, roll, the triplet, is higher than their current skill value. If so, she can uh, she crosses an extra uh, mark on, on the character sheet to uh, uh, increase the skill level. When training, you pay a number of flux crystals and uh, can roll more dice. So if you pay four flux crystals, you can actually roll in total seven dice to hopefully be able to level up. In this case, at the soldier school, you can train ranged weapon and two-handed weapons. So you roll a lot of dice and see if you level up or not. You can, as usual, always pay one flux crystal to re-roll one die or pay six to select the outcome of a die. And that's it. In the, uh, sun at sunset, you can also pay flux crystals to regain health on your character. The runs fly by pretty quickly. Once this is done, you roll again. You move, draw cards, and if any player is at a special location, they can do special actions. That's around the game, uh, the day of the game.